Let's see if I remember how to do this. What is up, my friends? I hope you're doing well out there, staying safe during these crazy times in the world. It's been a very long time since I posted a video. I want to say since October, maybe. I could be a little off on that, but it's been months on top of months. I've been extremely busy uh, with work. I recently re-enrolled into school, so I've been doing that since November. It's been a crazy time. Um, I got engaged within that time frame. Some of you may know that if you follow me on Instagram. If you do not follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do. Um, I'm a lot more active there than I am on YouTube these days uh, because of my schedule. But I wanted to make sure I posted this video to the, those of you who enjoy videos like this. I didn't feel right posting these books on Instagram before letting the YouTube family see them first. So what I have here is a CGC submission pre-screened for 9.8s. I sent in 28 books, and out of that 28, I received back 20 uh, graded at a 9.8. So I'm very happy about that. The pre-screening uh, situation is fun because you have to send in at least 25 books to qualify for pre-screening. So I always send in a little more just you know, for the sake of I'm sure that not everything I send in is 9.8, but I, I usually do pretty well, and I can usually get the books that I really want uh, graded in 9.8, so it's always fun. So with that being said, let's jump into this. I won't make you wait too much longer. We'll just have some fun. I have, a, I have two more submissions coming. One should be here this week. I'm shooting this on Sunday, and I'm supposed to get that submission on Tuesday. And the last submission that I sent in after that was hasn't uh, started its process yet. It's been received, but they haven't started um, moving through the process yet. So I have a lot more books coming in. And as they do come in, I'll do my best to make videos for those. So let's get right into it. This is a very uh, independent book, uh, you know, specific haul, I guess. Not too many Marvel, not too many DC. It's a very independent, heavy run. So. We're starting off with one of my favorites. Sweetie number one. Beautiful cover, great book. I really enjoyed this cover and I really enjoyed this story um, overall. So I wanted to make sure that I had it graded for the collection. Great story about Maggie, a young lady who is very obsessed with being a superhero of sorts <laughs> in her own special way. She's been training herself based off of shows that she's watched on TV, and she winds up having to put her skills to use. So it was a great read, great time, something I really wanted to get great at because of the artwork and the story. And I'm really into having short runs that I really like graded in their entirety in 9.8. So we have that one. And these books are in order based on the way they were sent back to me from CGC. I haven't messed with the order at all. So it makes it a little bit more fun. I also have Year of the Villain. Get that up there nice and sturdy. <laughs> Year of the Villain, Hair Horizon, uh, number three. First full appearance of Punchline. I know this is a hot book. Um, I see it everywhere. Everybody has a copy. And uh, I made sure to get mine. So there's that beautiful cover, 9.8. Couldn't be happier. Moving right along, we have Sweetie number three. This was a four issue run, uh, so not too many to have graded there, but all great covers. And like I said, a great story. And this is by Action Lab. Sweetie number two. Nice cover. Year of the Villain, Hair Horizon number three. This is the beautiful variant cover with our guy King Shazam <laughs> on the front. Looking boss as ever. I got this cover mainly for him. Uh, I really like that character as I've been progressing through the story. Um, 
I, I really love that character. So any chance I can get to grab a cover with Shazam on the front, I am picking it up. And again, this is the first full appearance of Punchline. Sweetie number four. So that completes that run. It was really good to get that completed the first go around. Uh, sometimes I've had to send in books, which we'll see a little later on, to meet that uh, full run uh, want, as, as I like to do. One of the books I got at the top of the year before everything went crazy and something I've been looking for for quite some time now, I found it at a great price and I, I snatched it up as soon as I saw it and I'm really excited that it came back as a 9.8 and that is DuckTales Zero Design Variant. Beautiful cover, really excited. I have all of these design variants for DuckTales with the exception of one. And I may put that order in today or tomorrow, you know, sometime. But just to complete that whole run of design variants, they were really cool. I was able to sneak up on these at 2nd and Charles, but I missed 0 and I think 12. Uh, so, beautiful. Some books just go together well. I like to say peanut butter and jelly covers. And this is one of those situations. If I have zero, I had to have one with it. I was able to get this one the day it came out with no issue. The other ones were a little bit more hit or miss for me. But now that I have zero and one, greater than 9.8, I'm really excited. And I may do the others as well at some point. Another great story by Image, The Freeze, and this is the Hero Incentive cover. This was a really cool story. I think it went under the radar. It may pop up again, hopefully. Um, people may catch on to it, and when they do, I can see it being snatched up everywhere. It was a really, really good story. Um, I won't spoil it for anyone, but basically, this gentleman here has the power to revive anyone he wants. And... Uh, <laughs> After a catastrophe of some sort where he has left the only person, he he uh, manages to create a new uh, society with people he has chosen to be a part of that society and, and based on references from others. So it's really cool, really interesting. I think it ended short, if I'm not mistaken, so I hope it comes back. But, uh, you know, the books I was able to read, which I have them all, were really good. So... Infidel number one. Beautiful cover there. I enjoy reading this story. I might have to go back and reread it. Um, I don't remember too much from it, but I do remember enjoying it as I read it. <laughs> and I even recommended it to some folks, but I think I have to go back and reread it. It's a beautiful A cover. One of the popular books of the of the day, <laughs> uh, Venom number three. First print, A cover. This is a book I was able to, as it started to gain popularity, I didn't. I originally didn't get it for some reason, and then I started seeing it everywhere, and I just picked them up. So I ended up with like three copies of the A cover, um, which was really cool. My guy Miles on the cover. Great story. I just uh, caught up on volumes one through four, and I had a, it's a fantastic read. Next up, in the effort to complete another run that I love, we have Wizard Beach by Boom Studios, and this is issue number three. This is one I sent in, I believe it's a five issue run. I sent in all five and this was the only cover that did not come back in 9.8. So 
So I had a few uh, extra covers of this one, or extra copies, and I sent another one in, and I was granted a pristine 9.8. Another book I hope takes off soon. Um, I think there's a show in the works, but that it remains to be seen. And this is Bone Parish by Boom Studios, and this is the Virgin cover. Really, really cool cover. Amazing story. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, can't say enough good things about it. I hope they do this uh, story justice when it hits the screen. So this is an instance where I just love the cover, had to have it, and uh, oftentimes when I see covers, I imagine that what they would look like in a CGC slab. <laughs> That's just how weird I am. But we have Finger Guns, number one, uh, the Hickman variant cover, which is a wraparound cover with glitter and all this extra fun stuff on it, but it's very beautiful. Haven't read the story, haven't heard much about the story, but I knew I wanted this cover. And I believe I just happened to walk into the shop and it was still on the shelf. So I picked it up and put it into my CGC pile. One of the must haves for my collection, I was looking for this for quite some time, found it for a great price through Sad Lemon Comics sometime last year, I believe, and uh, was really excited to have it. This is the Jock cover of Gideon Falls, issue number one, which if I'm being honest, I've kind of fell off of reading this one. I have to, you know, get back into it, but there are a lot of issues that I need to catch up on, and uh, I hope that the story remains uh, as good as I remember it being. It's very slow paced, but I, I enjoy that. Uh, personally, I don't mind taking my time and uh, getting to, you know, getting into knowing characters and, you know, waiting a few issues for something major to happen. But I do know that was a complaint of some people, understandably so. Ooh, <laughs> beautiful cover here. Bitter Root, issue number six, the Do the Right Thing movie poster homage cover. Uh, this is a great cover. They're doing really good at these movie homage covers. Do the right thing. <laughs> I recently picked up one, the one that just came out this week for, that is uh, Purple Rain. And uh, it looks to be a little damaged, so I don't think I'll have a chance of getting a 9.8 on that, which means I'll have to order another one, which is fine. But I want to do the best I can at getting all of those graded in a 9.8. That would be really cool. <clears throat> My goal with all of these is to, one, collect them because I like collecting them. But also at some point to display them in my office, um, you know, one at a time or however that works. But let's do another one. We have Ice Age number 17 by Image. And this is the Action Comics number one cover homage great cover still loving the ice cream man i have a few issues to catch up on though but that just makes it all the more fun really cool cover there can't wait to dive back into this story i recently read and thoroughly enjoyed uh, I Hate Fairyland Volume 1, and somehow, some way, I ended up picking up the first copy uh, when I first started collecting. This is 2017-ish, and I'm really happy that I did because once I started reading it, I immediately started to dive through the collection and found it and sent it off. <laughs> so this is issue number one, I Hate Fairyland. Scotty Young, Killing the Game, loving reading his books. So, beautiful cover. Great story.
winding down here we have uh, Infinity Wars Arachnite number one by Marvel and this is the design variant. This is one of the characters I went crazy over last year when it was introduced. I want all of the covers that Arachnite is on graded 9.8. I'm having a really tough time with one of them, which is actually right here. I have a few copies of this, but they all have um, they all have wear on the back. You know that uh, that rub that they get. So it just seems to be an issue with the printing. Because I have like four copies, and all of them are, one of which is graded, and I think it's a 9.6, but that color rub is extreme on these. But Arachnite's great cover, um, or this is a great cover. Love the character, love the story. I really hope that there is more to come with this character. But if not, I, I enjoyed what we got. I've been trying to push... <laughs> Uh, Funko Pop to make a pop of this character and give us more um, statues. I would love to have a statue of this guy. I know there is one and I, I need to get it. I forget who makes it, but last but not least, another one of those peanut butter and jelly covers, right? This is a must have for many of us. <laughs> and uh, now I get to join the likes of my buddy uh, JB, Capital JB Comics, my brother in Canada. Um, that is Batgirl issue number 23. I got this for a great price. Saw it online. Uh, I think my buddies at Blue Hen Comics posted it on their Instagram. I asked them was it available. They said yes and I sprinted <laughs> down there. The price was great. I had to have it. It was in pristine condition. I had no worries about this coming back in the 9.8. And it did. So now I get to match it up with the likes of Batgirl 24. Because those just go go well together. You know, some covers go so very well together. Just like these Amazing Spider-Man uh, number 792 and 793. If you got one, you might as well have the other. Right? So thanks for hanging out. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. But um, I hope you understand uh, life gets in the way sometimes, but to the extent I can be, I will be. Like I said, I have two more submissions coming in, one this week and one, I guess, within the next two weeks. But be safe out there, my friends. Be sure to hit me up in the comments. Let me know that you're doing well. Let me know what you're grabbing, what you're excited about, what you're reading. Tell me all that stuff. And if you're uh, really looking to get in touch with me and, and chat, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I always love hearing from you guys and just checking up on each other. <laughs> it's a crazy world, and we got to check up on each other. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Grab those.